Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Cube Curse by Oblivious Owl. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. Cube Curse is a continuation of the puzzle cube case. Try that one first if this one is too difficult. Difficulty medium. To make this map, to make this map took the extra mile to make this map go the extra mile possibly for I've decorated it so much and so I say as such I hope it's worth the while okay I think that's meant to be a poem doesn't quite read very well thanks for playing uh, oblivious owl all right let's jump in and take a look shall we so um I've just finished recording the first vlog of the year which I'm really quite excited about to release uh, you guys should have already seen it by now um but yeah, I'm really quite excited about that. So, hopefully, as I say every year, I'm going to bring more vlogs to you this year. I guess we'll see. Okay, so, does that and that. Do you have a way up to there? And interesting. Let's go and explore over here while we've got a ball on that surface there. Oh, okay, so that blocks. That blocks that. Interesting. So maybe what we're going to want to do instead is. Explore. Well, we could bring the cube through there. Well, them custom visuals. They kind of look with the geometry. They kind of look a bit like um, hourglasses. It's quite interesting. Okay, so that's another way to block that. So we could potentially get two lasers. So I'm guessing we're a laser on there, a laser on there for some form of finale. Not sure why we'd want to do that for you at the moment. Okay, so laser through there, pointing to there for the exit as well, which would be the square for the exit. Nice that you've um, added exit signage to the buttons as well. Makes it easy for the player to distinguish um, what is required where. Right, let's go and get this cube then. If we wanted to, we could. I don't really think we need to at this moment in time, though. Okay, so this will allow us to go through to here. Seems like there is another cube waiting for us. So one, two and three is our exit criteria. So we can take this back. Obviously we can't grab that. So this is where I think we should have maybe done a cube swap. So, we'll do this. We will take this cube from in here. Excuse my fingers. I'm just going to grab for speed. And then we use this one. Pointing over there. Maybe I 
That doesn't matter anymore, does it? So before we go through the portal, let's take this cube back. Open up that. And then we'll run all the way across here. And head through the portal. Okay. Seems like a good place to save, but we have now got three. We have got three cubes. So we can recall the blue cube for now. Yeah, we've got to recall the blue to be able to do anything now. So, I'll take the blue back. I can't remember if I save, but I'll save again. Because that's what opens that. So, we will take both these cubes for now. We can do this, but ultimately we're going to want that to be the redirection cube, aren't we? Because our end goal is going to be something like this. So actually, by doing that we've screwed ourselves up, because now we can't use the, uh, yeah we can't use the laser anymore, we would have to respawn orange now to do anything else. So let's respawn orange, and we'll open that up, take it back and wait for it to here. Okay, so what we're going to want to do instead is that and add a portal there. Then we're going to want to do this. We're going to want to use that cube though. See, here's the predicament. We do this. Now, when we go down there and fire that, we're going to obviously open up here. But how do we get back up here ourselves? Because we can't see it from down here. This is a way to respawn a cube. Could we have... No, I was thinking, could we have done something where we left the cube here? Um, C 
So yeah, the real question now is... Well, that's still open there, so we can still technically walk up here. Okay. Okay, I think I see. So that would get me back up to here. I was thinking about doing something with the flip panel to move the cube, but the problem there is we don't get the um, we wouldn't be able to put the portal back, would we? See, I can I can think of a couple of ways to do it. If I could get that, if I could get that cube back there, that panel goes down. So that's not good. actually no, I can't think of a couple of ways to do it. So <clears throat> yeah, the the big question at the minute is how do I open this? While well, still be able to get up here. Yeah, how do I how do I get rid of these things? Not only that though, how on earth do I how on earth do I get everything back? Just one that which will open that actually. And we can walk back through, pull on there, pull up there. That's always going to be there, pulls on there. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's not too bad. Let's just surmise, or actually, I'll put this back a moment. And pop it back on here. Alright, so let's save. Let's imagine these two cubes. Were swapped. So by the magic of flying around and doing things and stuff. You can actually swap these cubes around. So, you're not needed. You didn't match about where you're pointing at the moment, but you're going to want to point over there. And then that would be there. And that. So, what I'm thinking here is would I have enough time? The answer is no. I just wondered if I'd have enough time there to press the button. Because sometimes when you disintegrate, the cubes don't fully disappear and they still have their functions before they disintegrate. I just didn't know whether or not I'd have enough time to 
put the cube, press the respawn the cube and get up the stairs before the cube fully disappeared, but obviously not. Well, um, I need to give this some thought, it seems. I'm not really sure where I proceed from here and how I get up to the top. So, all I need to work out is how to open the fizzler and have the stairs open at the same time. And then I think I'm good from there. So, I'm going to give it some thought, and I will be back very shortly. Alright guys, we are back with Cube Curse. And I made some progress. Yes, I did. I made some progress. So, what I want to do is bring all the cubes back to the middle because this one in here needs to be the blue one, I believe. So, to bring that back to the middle, I should just be able to do this. So I need the blue cube in there, the orange cube up there for now. Um, so let's do that. So just put that up there. This one's gonna go up to here. Like that. here. Let's keep on here. I'm doing it in a fast forward motion. I should then be able to take this round to here. Through to here. Okay. Cube swapped. Everything's done. We are back here now. So, I was focusing before on trying to do everything with portals, and I don't believe portals are the answer. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take this one away. Like this. And then I need... Actually, I've messed that up already. So I need to get this the weight cube back first. So we'll go around here. We need to plop a portal in there. Move that out of the way. That allows us to go up to here. Grab this one. We'll just pop that there for now. Now we can go and get our other cube back. Bring it down to here. Like so. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top of this panel here. Something like that. Then I can take my weighted cube up. So what's going to happen here? This allows me to get up, and then I'm going to quickly stand on. I'm going to stand on the button temporarily. And what that will do is that will move that cube and it will activate this fizzler here, in theory. So, it doesn't matter that that cube just um, got spawned, despawned, respawned. Actually, I don't think I needed to bring this cube here, did I? I don't think I did. Oh well, regardless. 
what I can do now is put a portal on here. So my next plan needs to be over here. So we'll do that. We'll respawn the blue cube. Do you know what? I'm actually convinced I had two cubes here last time when I come through here. So. How did I have two cubes? Because I had... Actually. There is a bit of a delay, isn't there? That's maybe what I did so. made a mistake somewhere. So I can't now go up here, can I? Ha! Huh. <laughs> Do you know what? I had this all figured out. Sometimes a problem. That's why I don't like to go too far when I'm kind of like playing around with these solutions. Sometimes you go too far. And then you kind of get stuck. So do that and take that cube up. I don't really think that helps a great deal. I'm, yeah, I'm lost. I, I can't remember now what I did. Oh, actually, maybe I can. So that's going to stay because of that. Okay, I think this is what I did. I think. So I can take this now. Yeah, this is what it did. I'm pretty convinced it is. So now I can clear this. Take that off there. That opens that up. That allows me to bring this one through to here. That's what I did. See that? I'm not going completely crazy. Okay. So now we're going to save. I 
And I'd say we're not going to want that on there just yet. Because we're going to want to use this laser again, aren't we? See, now we have that problem again. So I can actually go through here. I could respawn this cube, which will open this. Which in turn then allow me to respawn the other cube and come back through over to here. To fire that. Right, so. This portal has to stay. Big issue is. Actually, I wonder if I could. Thinking about it. I wonder if I could redirect the laser from here. Just hidden behind that geometry, isn't it? Is that a thing I can do? Let's find out. Okay, that is a thing I can do. That would make sense then to put that onto there. To get that to come back down and do that. Okay. So my original plan isn't quite what I thought because of that. So what I will probably do. I would now need to get into there. So to get into there... I mean, I can respawn the blue cube if, if, if I want. Respawning the blue cube's not a big thing. work this out then I'm home and dry I believe you see the, the logical thing for me to hear would be to do would be to move this now onto here Oh, 
that then blocks the access to the stairs. Can I please get that? Why do I, why do I still, in the, after all these years, and all the all the time I've been playing Portal, why do I still have issues with that maneuver? Baffles me. That's fine, that's exit condition. Maybe I messed up doing that. Hold on. Take this off here. Back to that. Back to that. I've got to go through a portal get to there. Ha! <laughs> well... So again, kind of thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box, how can I do this last bit? Do I need portals on surfaces? I, I just struggle to understand why I would want to now get rid of that portal there. which would then make me believe everything else I've got to do will involve a portal on there. The only panel I have control of here is this one. Okay. So. Take it off there. Put that portal back there. I almost think I need to go back to the step where I had the cube back in there.
I don't know where my save point is at this point. I, I don't know. So I don't know where this is going to take me. Okay. The problem is, though, right? Um, does kind of feel like I need the cube back in if they would have more control the only problem is I wouldn't be able to do what I don't know, if I did this... Kind of fits the object I know of what I was trying to do before. Yeah, it's all well and good, but it doesn't give me what I want, does it? Because I wanted... Yeah. Oh, man. All right, I've got to go back to the drawing board, it seems. And... Let's see if I can come up with something else. I'll be back. All right, guys. Um, I think I got it. I think. So, what I've actually done is gone completely back to basics and started off by bringing everything back down to here because I was convinced that and I think it's a valid valid point I actually need a cube in there to be able to pull this off so what we're going to do is quickly run through here and I'm going to try and set things up So we need portal on here. Plop. Portal on here. Mop. It's going to allow us to then take this cube through to here. Like that. But before we do anything else, we need to go and return, re get our weighted cube back. Like this. Steps back like this. 
to and get our blue cubes like this. So it's pretty much exactly the same setup as we had before. The only difference being this time, our yellow cube, orange cube, whatever you want to call it, um, is uh, behind the fizzler. So now that we have this set up, um, we can basically do what we was doing before, which is putting this on here, setting the blue cube up to point to here to allow us that through. And then we can take this one up, up here. So this is where the solution kind of differs. Um, because what I was doing before was I was trying to work out um, how to get cube back. But actually what we need to do is set that up first. So we're actually going to put the standard cube back first. So, shoot a pull there. And then we'll set this up. Run back over to here. And I'm going to save because... When I was trying this a few times, the cube sometimes got flown into the uh, the thing, into the fizzler. So, we do that. Excellent. Didn't that time. And now we take this one back. We will take this one back through here now. The reason we do this now is because then we don't have to worry. We, we have the cubes where we need them. We can work with the cubes as they are. And we can quite easily walk back through there and respawn the yellow cube which is where we was kind of getting confused before so now we have this we're going to go back around here and do the same thing again because this is going to allow us to place our portal there for the big finale we're going to go round again one last time. Because now we don't need to worry about the blue cube. So. We'll take our blue cube up to here. Place it on here. And we'll run through to here. To put a portal on here to get up to meet condition number two of three. We can get rid of that cube, run over here, and simply respawn it. And there we have it. There is the puzzle. And yeah, to be fair, it didn't pan out the way I thought it was going to pan out. It's not really sure how I thought it was going to pan out, if I'm completely honest, originally. But yeah, there. Um, that's a really good map. A really good reuse of the cubes as well. Um, cube management is key as well. I mean, as I've shown here, there was I've I've actually changed my the, the cube I thought to be behind there. I changed quite a few times. Um, but yeah, having to strip it all back, um, getting three cubes in here, and then thinking about things a little bit more um, definitely paid off dividends in my little last break there. Um, it was mainly this one. I mean, I guess it'd be nice if we could do more with this area. But, yeah, when I thought about everything that I had, it made complete sense to put that in there early. Because we go through the fizzle. We don't need to worry about the fizzle being open because we still have full access to setting that port back up there. Um, breaking that mindset of having to have that there the whole time was a really big thing. So, um, yeah, really good map. Really, really good map. Uh, indeed, that's uh, one was suggested by Narcos. Thank you very much, Narcodes, for that suggestion. Guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to pay, please leave in the comments or head to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.